Hey there, Staring from Staring Gaming. Welcome to the dungeon known as Alcatraz. Now this was a high level dungeon back in Burning Crusade. And actually, back then, you needed to get a key in order to get into Alcatraz. There's also a few quests associated with this area as well. But as you see, the beginning of the room here, you got Blood Elves here fighting these animations. Now, not a lot of people know that if you actually clear the room, you can actually stop them from spawning continuously. I'll see if it's still true. As you can see, like I said, by killing all the mobs here, all the blood elves, you actually can stop the spawning and make it easier on yourself. <laughs> now back then, you only pull one group at a time back then because it way things were back in the original WoW and Burning Crusade, you couldn't do too much. Or you would pretty much wipe your group. I don't have a target. <clears throat> now you see there's corpses here. And, well, if you got two, you pretty much were gonna get within the aggro radius, but as you can see, that's what spawns. I need to get closer. It's too far. Away. Now, you could attack the corpses from a range, and I believe it would actually still spawn them. Now, this room was a nightmare. Usually, we wait for this path to show up, get them out of the way, and we try to separate demon by demon because if you pull two you better want to have one heck of a great healer and DPS and the tank better just survive because there's a lot of these mobs actually either some additional ads or put a nasty debuff on you and it's just it's pretty much or more or less Now, in addition, in three uh, Tempest Keep dungeons, unique potions dropped that actually only worked in that, in the dungeons and in the raid area. <laughs> Honestly, I never used them back then. I just sold them because, like, well, there's no point if it's a dungeon-based potion. I uh, here where the first boss is basically a void. Like a warlock, you can do Seed of Corruption, but he also has a Shadow Nova, which will launch your group back. And it can launch you pretty far back in like, mobs that you haven't aggroed or anything. We usually would actually clear the whole room, no matter what. But the easiest way to counter his Shadow Nova is just fight him here, but also watch out for the Void Zones he puts down. As long as you can keep yourself well situated and up against the wall when he does Shadow Nova, you're fine. The void can to consume. <clears throat> now this dungeon was a little long, honestly. Pretty much had you going up level by level 
every time you took out the boss in the area. Now, there was a related quest in here. Specifically, I believe it was related to... Can't be 100% sure. I could be wrong, but it could have been to Karazhan. Now, for that, you would actually see this little urn here. This is actually part of a key quest in order to get into there. Now, these guys are pretty nasty. These warp masters could put a little field down that would instantly heal them up super fast. And unfortunately, tags nowadays don't understand that, and then they get full healed. You have to move them out of there because they also get buffed while they're in that field. These Nega taunt screamers, whatever spell damage they get hit with first, they become highly resistant, like they take, I believe, 75% reduced damage, so if I hit it with a holy attack, it would take 75% reduced holy. <laughs> now these, in my opinion, were the worst guys in here. Because, one, they have some nasty ores like casting, vampiric, all that nasty <laughs> Like I said these golems here, they're actually active. They have low HP, so you could burn them down pretty fast. Now we come up to this room. This Did you room... call on me? Why would I call on you? To do your heavy lifting, most likely. When I need someone to prance around like an overstuffed peacock, I'll call on you. Then I'll commit myself to ignoring you. What would you know about commitment? Sheetside. You're the one who should be! Wait. We have company. Like a merry old couple bickering. Now, as I was gonna say, this room actually has stealth succubi in here. I believe it's two to three. So you had to be careful. Usually having a hunter was best because you could just throw a flare out and hope they cross it. I'm out of range. <laughs> it's too far away. I need a target. Now usually there's one in this area. And then there's definitely one here where this bell guard is. And sometimes the third, there would be a third one just right here in this area. But due to my level, I'm not really aggro. Uh, so you see, there's the salty witch. That's the one who is stealth. So there still should be one or two more here. Now... Raph Scryer, more or less, he's just a tank in Spain. The only thing you have to worry about is his fire damage and also the line of fire he leaves behind because you do not want to stand in the fire. I knew this was a target for my frustration. Now we come up to Don't here. Don't worry about me. Kill that worthless Dalid instead. Unfortunately, you do have to kill both to progress on. I wish they kind of would have made it choose who you take out so you can move on. But Dahlia here, she's pretty nasty if you're not careful. She can put a debuff on the tank if you're not, if you don't interrupt it fast, which basically makes the tank kill her for every time he hits him. Hits her, sorry. <laughs> she also can cast heal herself, which honestly, you could just ignore that. The heal doesn't do much, but the worst attack she has is her whirlwind. With melee, would get screwed by that. So you would have to be really careful of your melee. I'm out of range. That attack can take you from 100 to zero in like two seconds. As see, there's the other sculpture. Now, like I say, you, every time you take out the bosses, you seem to be going up another level in Alcatraz. <coughs> and we're actually coming up to a, the end spot, but this is where more powerful mobs are at. Now, 
Now, this will be the last golem you'll deal with. And you're gonna have to fight it because there's no way around it. Alright, I was wrong. There's the last two goals. My bad. Now you come up to the Ethereals. If you ever ran mana teams, you can understand big these guys this would be a pain. Well, we're gonna go Use my little old roll in here. Now, as you can see, this quest, I believe, was related to Black Temple, if I am still correct. So. Like I said, Architraz had a lot of dungeon, uh, other areas, quests that had you come in here. Now, there's a third one coming up that everyone gets first introduced to a certain gnome that we, a lot of people have learned to like, love. He's funny. Now, if I remember right, there was a really super rare leatherworking powder that only dropped off, I believe, these the Bissels or the I can't remember which one dropped it without jumping on the wildhead. <coughs> I literally would come here just to farm to get that recipe. Now, this fight has you basically doing a gauntlet. You can't, you're never gonna kill this guy, plain and simple. To start it, you just basically swing at him. I knew the prince would be angry, but I, I have not been myself. I had to let them out. The great one speaks to me, you see. Wait, outsiders, Kael'thas did not send you. Good. I'll just tell the prince you released the prisoners! <laughs> Bit psycho there, isn't he? The Naru kept some of the most dangerous beings in existence here in these cells. Let me introduce you to another. Yes, yes another! Your will is mine! Now, for the first one, it can either be this base owner or an yet another terrifying creature of incomprehensible power. We're in Bonzo's brass buttons, am I? And who in God? Ah! Oh, 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 that is one <clears throat> mother of a headache. What is this? A lowly gnome? I will do better, oh great one. Lowly? I don't care who you are, friend. No one refers to the mighty Millhouse Menastorm as Lowly. I have no idea what goes on here, but I will gladly Bedlam. join your fight oh, against you are this so impudent wise. imbecile. Yes, I Prepare see it now, to of defend course. yourself, Cretan. Now this could actually be a flame knocker or an elemental. Now as you see, Millhouse Menastorm, this is the first time you I just need here. to get some things ready first. You guys go ahead and get started. I need to summon a one final cell remains. Fantastic! Yes, right away! Some protective spells. Yes! Now we're cooking! It is a small matter to And of course I'll need some mana. You guys are gonna love this! Just wait! To powers untouched by time! Oh, Alright! Who uh, ordered up an extra large can of whoop This world, or beyond, harbors the strength to bend on me. Not even the mighty Legion! Welcome, O oh Great One. I am your humble servant. Bear witness to the agent of your demise. Who's that? Merely one That's right. We bad. Guys, as I say, Millhouse Man Service is where he makes his first appearance. There's actually a quest you get from the Naru in Shadowraft City to actually make sure he is saved. You basically have to run heroic and make sure he survives the whole fight here. It was part of a multi-quest you had to do. But pretty much, that's been Architraz. Plain and simple. Like I said, this has been Asterion from Asterion Gaming. Asking you to please like and subscribe my videos. I will see you guys in the next one.